Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm going to be discussing a very important topic and that is Judo, Jiu Jitsu and how they help create a better society, a more progressive and equal society. Uh, this video is dedicated for the legendary women who use these arts in order to create a healthier society and advance the human species forward. Um, this isn't just like uh, the, the stuff we see today, etc. The stuff that people put online and, you know, claiming to be, you know, very good people, etc. But I'm talking about the people that actually did something and uh, they were very strong minded people and practiced what they preached. They didn't just sit online and call themselves activists. Uh, this is something that's very important. They did these arts not for attention, not for glory, not for medals, and not to collect uh, paychecks. They did it solely to create a better society and to improve the lives of others and also to fight against injustice the way these arts were intended and the way these arts were created for. And this is clearly the vision of Kano Sensei and this is the story of these women that I want to share with you. The first one is Fukuda Keiko. I've talked about Fukuda in a separate video very long discussing her marriage, uh, her life and she was the first to become 6th Dan and 10th Dan a red belt. Uh, she was the first also to author several books on Judo, Kata in particular. She has her own Kata competition. She was head jury uh, until her passing. She lived a very long and healthy life and contributed a lot to Judo. Uh, she met Kano Sensei, etc. I'll link the video down below for you to watch her entire life because it is a very rich and full of fighting and struggles in order to get the women where they are today. The second woman that I want to discuss is Edith Margaret Gurud. Um, she is a British woman. She is the first to ever uh, teach martial arts for self-defense in the West. Um, she was trained under uh, Sadakazu Uenishi. Sadakazu Uenishi is a lesser known Jiu Jitsu master who went to England alongside Yukio Tani, etc. And he taught in the Bartitsu club. Uh, there he trained her and uh, she actually has a very interesting uh, story. Uh, she was part of the women's union and the suffragettes, the ones that were fighting for women's rights. So there is a particularly interesting story in 1913 uh, where the British government passed an act called the Mouth and Cat Act which uh, detailed that the suffragettes when they go on hunger strikes you would take them out of prison and nurse them back to health but once they're healthy again you have to put them again in prison and this is what she fought for um, the arrest the rescue etc and uh, she taught them jujitsu and they were starting to become known as the sufra jitsu or the jujitsu fragettes the bodyguards the amazons uh, they would do these operations for rescues and escapes where they use the disguises, uh, decoys, uh, and really good tactics. Uh, actually, there was a film made after this uh, starring Meryl Streep, I believe. Uh, so it's a very interesting story indeed. Uh, like I said, you know, the uh, jujitsu masters that uh, traveled, they didn't just do for prize fighting, but also to spread the art. Uh, Sadakazu Umenishi, I'll make a separate video about him, but he mainly Yes, he became a professional wrestler, but also he was very interested in spreading the art and teaching the police and hand-to-hand -hand combat and self-defense. So this is why we have a woman like Edith uh, training this for self-defense and also for women's rights. Uh, back then, more than 100 years ago, it was far different than today. Um, you didn't have social media to whine all day about uh, what a victim you are, etc. They actually went out and did something. You can see her getting beat up by the police in the earlier photo. Uh, so again, these women fought a real fight, uh, very different. Uh, I'm, don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of injustice today, but uh, uh, some people just do it and 
manifested in a very uh, wrong manner and these women are a good example of how it should actually be done so the third woman is that i want to discuss is sarah mayer sarah mayer is of course you've seen her photos before she is that blonde beauty who was the first woman or western woman to ever become a black belt uh, she was actually born in London in 1896. Uh, she was an actress. Her parents both were actors, were involved in theater. Her, uh, her name is actually Sarah Winifred Benedict Tapping. Very convenient. Um, she actually did uh, a uh, journey towards the east, towards China, India, Tibet. And there she reached Japan and she was... Uh, very interested in judo and she trained under Ichiro Hata and reached brown belt there uh, she uh, got her first done by Prince Nashimoto before returning home it was on February 23rd 1935 she also met and trained with Sensei Kano and Gunji Koizumi so uh, she is a very uh, pioneering woman when it comes to uh, judo training and becoming a high level judoka and a black belt of course um, this is a woman you've seen her photos all over the place and uh, she this there is a reason for it she is the first black belt to ever uh, she is the first woman or Western woman to become a black belt uh, in judo and also training with Kano sensei so this is very uh, there's also letters she wrote to her sensei that are very long very extensive you can go online and find them and read them you can uh, find uh, very interesting aspects to her uh, character and the fourth woman that I want to discuss is Marie uh, Studholm uh, she's a actress and singer she's also English she was actually trained jiu-jitsu by Yukio Tani Yukio Tani I've done a video on him uh, there's also his book that you can find online I shared it in one of my videos uh, she was born in 1872 and passed away in 1930. She was 57 years old. Um, she, her, her experience with jiu-jitsu is not uh, very much documented. However, she did say that, you know, through her divorce and fame, uh, etc., jiu-jitsu really helped her uh, to become a balanced person and also uh, give her life. Uh, like a more balance and more stability it really helped her mentally uh, not only just physically when it comes to self-defense but also uh, it made her into a far a calm and uh, focused person so here we can see that you know through divorce and being a celebrity everyone wants your attention and you know people following you around uh, it really helped her give her uh, serenity and peace in her life uh, from the mental standpoint so here we can learn how these arts are uh, you know helpful not just physically you know establishing rescue missions and escapes and fighting you know a physical fight against the army and the police like the case of Edith Margaret but also how they can psychologically and mentally help you when it comes to your life uh, dealing with fame and a, a troubled romantic life, um, you know, divorce, etc. In the case of Marie Stoudholm. So, again, this is very uh, important topic to discuss. Empowering women should be uh, not just catering to them and just, uh, you know, uh, do stuff online and you know cl clicking the share button all that stuff will do absolutely nothing we don't go on social media to get our morals there we just go out you know see what's going on in the world uh, you know if you're interested in whatever subject you subscribe to that subject and you see it often but other than that we don't you know no one's gonna see something on uh, you know, social media and the, their entire character and moral I'll just flipped upside down it just doesn't happen the real fight is going down on the street and fighting the good fight whatever the cause may be uh, it's not again you know slacktivism they call it slacktivism for a reason uh, but the case of these women specifically Fukuda and Edith Margaret it's very honorable and cherishable and I wanted to dedicate this video for them I talk a lot about 
uh, male figure history but uh, when it comes to women it's far different uh, it's not about challenges and competitions but it's about creating a far better uh, society as Kano sensei intended uh, if you have anything else to add you can always share it down below this was Shadi and thank you for listening.